Uh, last but not least, the results tree. So to say here you can load the output of your simulation and um, analyze whatever you want. You can look at your 2D, 3D or 1D plots as indicated here on the right, but you could also just take a look at certain points and um, read the displacement, the um, stresses at this point, uh, uh, whatever you are interested in. So let's do this in Abacus. Okay, the um, results analysis is a different, I would say, part of your GUI. So you can access this over here. However, if you have completed or if, jo if a job is running or completed, it doesn't matter, you can right click on this job and click on results. So it will load the information uh, of this result um, file. These files are called .odb and will also be located in your working directory now. Um, this contains all the information you specified in your field output. So always remember, you can only see now what you previously specified in your field output. So this is the view of the results module, sometimes called visualization module. Um, you can configure a lot of things over here, can access various things here and do a cut view, do a lot of manipulation, get some data of specific points and so on and so on. But I would say most importantly is that you can change uh, over here. So in the second um, menu over here, you can switch between the things you have specified. So for example, the plastic uh, equivalent strain. And now you can see it switches automatically. This is your initial configuration and this is your final de um, deforma deformed contour and then it plots the required um, value onto this contour. You can change this for example and now it's important that you understand these co concepts of reference and current configuration. You could also plot the, the final result on your initial configuration but usually in metal forming you are interested in the results plotted onto your um, current configuration. And as you can see here, some um, weird results if we fix the velocity in z-direction. However, um, for example, if we switch back to the von Mises stresses, we, s we, can, we have in the third menu now as a sub-option menu to the so S is stresses, and then you can uh, change between the principal, the Mises, the hydrostatic pressure, or the one in a, a given direction. So if you do not specify it otherwise, these tensor uh, components are the one related to your global coordinate system. So always keep this in mind. If you want to analyze the data with respect to another um, coordinate system, you have to previously define the coordinate system or um, later uh, you can also do some um, coordinate system transformation applied to these tensor components. So, but you, most of the time you're interested in the von Mises result. So, you can um, uh, manipulate the view as you're used to. For example, you can uh, plot, uh, for example, the displacements here given, for example, in vertical direction using uh, these vector plots options might be of interesting to understand the flow of the material in some cases uh, or the magnitude of flow or whatever. If you do a dynamic analysis, the, the direction of your acceleration and so on and so on. Um, but let's go back to von Mises stresses and um, you can for example also generate uh, XY data that means for example that you can uh, plot the I don't know uh, 
Uh, unique nodal, yeah, the displacement, so for example, the vertical displacement of this specific node here, and then you can plot it. Ah, you see, it follows exactly the function prescribed uh, by my boundary condition, and uh, yeah, same holds for the uh, U3, it's exactly zero as we've requested. So we go back to the overview and now I will show you um, a, a useful tool when you want to see the, the simulation results over time. It's the frame selector and then you can manually go back and forth through the different time steps and it will tell you in which increment you're currently in what is the corresponding time, so to say. And uh, yeah, you can get a feeling for how the model uh, deformed. Another useful tool is um, the comparison. So one of these windows, it's called viewport. So if you create a new viewport and now you have two viewports overlaid, but you can, for example, uh, tile them horizontally and then uh, you see the two viewports and now you can select the second one for the say and then if you now load your results onto the second one uh, you can compare the results of the two and, um, and you see for example uh, what you first should do what is very useful is if you uh, link the two viewports um, uh, and then tell them what should be linked, so the rotation, the manipulation of the views and so on. And now if you manipulate one, the other is automatically also manipulated. So this is quite cool for detailed comparison. And for example, as you can see here, um, on the top where you define the zero boundary condition, this is quite unrealistic. And here you have non-zero, so it will definitely have an impact. Um, yeah, so much for the uh, Abacus introduction tutorial. If you have any questions, um, write me uh, on Moodle or via mail and um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. You have learned the basics how to use the Abacus GUI, uh, the CAE, as a tool. And I can only recommend always like save your model, the CAE file, once in a while. So um, Control S will do the job. And more important for me is that you guys now use the things you have learned to play around, uh, check out some of the module, but maybe first uh, watch the other videos in which I will explain some of the things in more detail. And especially we will do a lot of repetition throughout these videos. So the basic setup of a model I will do every time when it comes to uh, setting up the model that we will deal with in the respective tutorial. So for example in the in the sheet tutorial we will also set up a small problem and of course we cannot run or simulate the problem without going through all these steps because all these steps are necessary to perform and run a simulation. This is what I've just shown you is the most basic way to set up um, a simulation using the GUI and so Watch the other videos, get more and more used to the way how to set up a model. And yeah, I hope uh, at the end uh, we will meet in class and we can solve some problems together. Have fun, goodbye, bye-bye.